How's my makeup? Hair? Hair's good? Yeah? <laughs> okay, let's do this. So, um, a lot of people will see a fossil like this and they'll assume because there's this outer shell on it that it might be, um, what's it called? Not synthetic, but like a fake or a one that's created just as an art piece. That is not the case. We'll look at some others here. I mean, this one too, you see the, the what we call a jacket. Um, it's a plaster cast. So when you're out in the wild and you're digging these things in the middle of nowhere, right? Where you've got uh, very limited resources and tools. You don't want all this to break and crumble. So what you do is you dig out as much as you can. You pour a plaster uh, shell over the top. Then you dig out underneath and you pour plaster underneath as well. So it comes out as a big plaster ball, which you bring back to a lab to prep and they'll go through and they'll cut the edge off. And that way everything's as it was, how you found it, right? It's tough to like take a photo and then sit there in a lab and be like, I think this is the piece that went over there. I think that way, like, oh my God, like it'd be insane. So they basically do, the, do it that way, protect it in the outer shell. And they also leave it in there because a lot of the sand and the, the sediment they find these fossils in just isn't stable. So that jacket gives it structural integrity. So whenever you see the jacket, don't think that that's because it's like part of the staging for a fake fossil. It's just what happens whether you're on in North America and any other continent in the world, this is the way they do it. So it's um, your little fun fact of the day about fossils.